Hi, my name is Rob DeBakey. I'm a chemistry teacher here in Southern California. And today I'm here to test these energy wristbands that my students have been coming in with. Uh, we're testing four on my trusty ion tester here, which we've used for various experiments. And our first energy wristband that we're going to test is Phyton, spelled with a PH. And it kind of has a different design on it. I don't know if that increases the negative ion levels or not, but we're about to find out. You know, the fight one is used by actually professional baseball players as well, and also athletes at our school. Some football players and, uh, and our baseball players, but I don't know how much it does because they're not having a very good year. But uh, just right off the bat, the blue light's pretty dormant, not very exciting, which is indication of low ion levels. And I am correct. The verdict is in only 15 negative ions per cubic centimeters on the fight one. Next up is our EFX one, which I believe is used by MMA fighters. This one's a little thicker. It's black with a red stripe. Has kind of cool lettering. And, you know, same deal with this one. The blue light isn't moving very fast. Probably won't have a very high reading. And, you know, negative iron energy in general optimizes everything the human body does, from alertness to energy levels and decreases your drowsiness throughout the day and our verdict is just about in here and as I suspected pretty low only nine on the EFX band. And our third wristband that we're testing on the chopping block today is the power balance. Thick white one with a hologram on the side. I don't know if that's just for show or if it actually adds any ion activity but our tester will find that out. And for those of you who don't read medical journals Columbia University did an independent study which proved negative ion energy increases brain function. And then of course there is the godfather, uh, Pierce Howard, who wrote the book The Owner's Manual of the Brain. And our reading is in, and the verdict is 27 negative ions per cubic centimeter. And last but not least is the ion knee wristband. Kind of has a similar thickness to the EFX one. Let's find out how much energy it has. And, you know, iron energy can be found in soil and, oh, oh, hang on one second before I get to that. Check out how crazy that blue light is going. There's definitely a lot of energy going on here. This tester is going crazy. Um, iron energy can be found, what I, I said soil, clear mountain air, which reminds me of Maryland, and water crashing, believe it or not. Oh, our verdict is in. 2,156 negative ions per cubic centimeters. I mean, I'm no math teacher, but I think our study speaks for itself. The ion me has the most negative ions per cubic centimeter. 